Today, we're going to walk through planning an IFR flight using ForeFlight. We're going to set up a route from Space Coast Regional Airport, KTIX, to Albert Wedded Airport, KSPG, in our Cirrus SR-22. The goal is to make sure everything is planned out before we even think about getting in the cockpit. This is how professional pilots operate to minimize surprises in the air. We'll start by entering our departure and destination airports into ForeFlight. First, I'll add KTIX as our departure. And once that's added, you'll see the runways and extended centerline feature. Now I'll add our destination, KSPG. So now we have our straight line route drawn. But of course, IFR flying is more than just point A to point B. When we're filing an IFR flight plan, we don't want to just pick any route. It's much better to file a route that's been previously cleared by ATC. That way, when you call for clearance, you're more likely to hear cleared as filed, which saves you time and avoids needing to rework fuel calculations mid-flight. In Ford flight, we can see routes that have been cleared before by ATC by tapping Routes after entering our airports. These are tried and tested, so let's select one that works for piston aircraft like our Cirrus. We can also make changes to the route manually by dragging the line over to a new point like the Melbourne VOR right here, just for the purposes of demonstration. So then we go back to airports and go to our departure airport, tap procedures and departure procedures. They only have these takeoff minimums, so we check this out and we get the chart supplement and we find our airport and we can see all the details about the takeoff minimums for this airport. Then we go to our arrival airport and we check the arrival procedures. We have these alternate minimums and then we have this bridge nine arrival. Next, we check the weather. So we overlay the air mats and sig mats over the map. This one is for turbulence up in the flight level so it doesn't really affect us. Then we can go back to airports and check out the METAR. It's decoded and you also have a TAF and you can do that for both airports. Then we go to imagery and we have access to all these prognostic charts and weather charts. Then we go back to our map and we check our off-road obstruction clearance altitudes and minimum and route altitudes. So then you can go into your flight plan, tab altitude, and Fort Flight shows you what the winds are doing at all the different altitudes along your route. So that way you can choose an altitude for your flight that considers your minimum altitudes as well as favorable winds. Next, one way we can check the NOTAMs is by tapping where there is a little red mark on one of the airports. And then you can scroll through all the NOTAMs, see what's relevant to you. You can also look at the obstructions, read about the TFRs. Then we can go into our arrival airport, check out Four Flight's visual representation of the winds and what runways they favor. We can look at approach procedures. And inside the approach procedure, you can also Check your NOTAMs right from there. Then you can go back into your flight plan. Press the send icon. Send it to your flights. And from there you can check your nav log. You can also do your full weather briefing. Then you can scroll down to the bottom where it says proceed to file once you are happy with everything. You press that, and then you press file. And that's how we go from route planning to filing an IFR flight plan using ForeFlight. By handling everything on the ground, we make sure our flight is as safe and efficient as possible. If you're looking to master IFR flight planning, Join the priority waitlist for more training and resources. Just send an email with the subject, join the waitlist to chicksufyofficial at gmail.com.